there's actually been any number of clay faces. I know at the time that we did the show, there had been at least three different really strong incarnations of him. The very first clay face in the comics was a guy named Basil Carlo, who was an old school horror movie actor. And there was one named Matt Hagen. He's the one who dove into the underground pool of clay and got turned into Clayface. So it was, he was kind of a combination of those two. His strength is inhuman, could be chemically induced. He's sort of an amalgam of all the clay faces in the comics. We kind of picked and choose among the different versions of Clayface in the comics. And then of course the shape-shifting thing was, you know, again, just a natural for cartoons. You know, it's like, that was just like, oh yeah, we, we're all over that. Great thing about being a shape-shifter. I can blend in with the crowd outside, make my getaway, and rip off some other joint. The, the thing that people remember the most about our version of Clayface was just the amazing visuals that, uh, that we were able to pull off. Stay out of it. We were amazingly fortunate that we got uh, the, the great Japanese animation studio, TMS, because they just really went to town on all the shape-shifting stuff. The original clay face was a kind of a complicated design. For the new adventure season, we decided to simplify him slightly. He's a little more streamlined. It wasn't a, a radical departure from the way he looked before, but uh, again, he was a little bit more angular. He didn't look quite as melty. Drippy and gooey and fun. Less surface detail, less bumps and stuff. He looked a little bit more like a, like a giant mud man instead of just a big pile of vomit. Now we can cut out the game. 